all right guys so i'm going live for my virgos i'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into it um if y'all haven't watched my collective reading that i did earlier make sure y'all go ahead and watch that i did um put in some updates on that video so make sure that y'all are checking that video out We're just going to get right on into it. So, what is going on with my Virgos today, Spirit? Spirit guides, ancestors, God. What is going on with my Virgos today? What has been going on for my Virgos? God, I ask that you speak to me in the most clear and concise way. I ask that you speak through me. That was I can give the most accurate reading to the readers. I mean, to the listener. And I pray that this video reaches and resonates many people. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and um, Rising. Virgo. Oop, what's going on with my Virgos? All right, so we got Seven of Pentacles. Still working hard as usual. going on for my Virgos I feel like you're staying out the way like Virgos is staying out the way or feeling called to stay out the way from certain people, just certain energies. What else is going on for my Virgos? Yeah. As I said that, we got the Ten of um, Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're, act you're actively moving away. Yeah, then we got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven of swords so i feel like you're being strategic about your time about your energy and what you're putting forth into yeah we got this card come out this is the card for virgo um seven eight of pentacles so you could be just focus on um your establishments of fo focusing on yeah the magician in the back of the day yeah virgo i feel like you're just focused right now um Focus on what it is that you're trying to bring in. Focus on the star at the back of the, at the behind the magician. Um, focusing on your healing. Focusing on your growth. I feel like right now you're not letting um, the opinions of others get to you or get in your space. could have a lot of um could be following your intuition right now or just be just be listening to yourself at this moment page of wands there could be um an idea or something that's going to be coming in for you and i feel like you could be subconsciously preparing yourself for this because if you're not prepared for it you might not see it or you might not take it um, for what it is and I feel like it is something that's going to be coming in to help you Cl what is this page of wands clarify the page of wands clarify the page of wands for Virgo clarify the page of wands for Virgo you could be um Virgo, you could be like 
speaking more than you usually do or like standing up for yourself more than you usually do as i say that we got the five of wands yeah so there there could be people coming at you with like their own opinions and this is why you're staying out the way it's like it's people coming at you with their own opinions of how you should do things or how you should be or where you should be at right now in your life and i feel like you're standing up for yourself i feel like before um we're more likely to take in what people have to say and just you know like we might take it in but we already know what we're doing so even though we're taking it in and we're listening to it we just kind of move on and we don't say nothing to that person but i feel like now we're speaking up like if something is not right for us we're going to we're going to tell that person we're not allowing people to keep telling us what they think that it is that we should be doing Like, I feel like before when you were when you would allow certain things or when you would just go with the flow with certain things, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. Yeah, three of three of swords because it's causing you pain and it's causing you to not have hope within yourself. Or it was causing you that. You got the nine of pentacles following your own footsteps is follow taking your own journey being in this feminine energy as well being receptive to what is coming in we got the devil clarify back of the deck we got five of cups so there could have been something that you recently let go of that you were afraid to let go of or that um, was taking you a while to let go of. Clarify this devil card, this devil energy. What is this devil card, this devil energy? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you made a decision about something. The star. Whatever it is, you chose yourself rather than... I feel like there was an idea or of some sort with this devil card energy. I feel like there was an idea or some type of, excuse me, lifestyle that you were stuck to that you had to decide um, what was better for you. You know, the path that you feel more called to or the path that you expected out of yourself based off of society based off what society has put on you and based off like your past i feel like whoever whoever you were in the past you're not that anymore and therefore it, it, you had to make a decision of stay that person or move into the person that you feel called to move into Yeah, you could have had a lot of opportunities and that have that could have been confusing you. Um, but I feel like you've made your decision already. This also could be saying that you have a lot of people um, coming like because you're standing more in your truth and standing more in your power. You have a lot of people or a lot of things coming coming into you with like emotional endeavors or like wanting to be a part of whatever you're a part of. Five of Cups. Clarify the Five. Of, okay, Nine of Swords. Yeah, because you have because you left something, you have like a whole new way of thinking about something or like whatever you left in the past. It's like it because you left it. Now you have like this newfound energy, like this burst of like energy to move towards something new. Or something is coming into you in a fast pace because you have opened up and, and allowed yourself to be receptive to it. <sighs> I 
Page of Cups, yeah. New this is new energy. It could be new people, new love, new whatever. But also this could be you in a new in a new light. Like this like this was you before or let me see. Um I can't find the card, but before you were in a more um not regretful but like energy of not trusting yourself whereas now you're in this page of cups energy where you trust yourself you trust the universe and you're open to new things now yeah you have a new like it's like you have a new emotional intelligence that's coming through judgment All right, so we also got the Ace of Wands. We also got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Sorry, I got a burp, but it's like not coming out yet. Um, yeah, so again, this is just all new, like new money, new, new action, new opportunities that you're seeking out as well as that's coming in for you. Because you have done the work on yourself. So. What's some advice for my Virgos? Jeez Louise. Keep, um, keep, keep managing your routine and, uh, what's the word? Um. Not updating, but keep like, keep like, keep uh, figuring out your routine and keep like cultivating your routine um, and, and stick to your routine. Um, keep, keep up, keep it up with the self-discipline. With the back of the deck, um, we have the seven of cups so this also could be saying here with this emperor card in the back of the deck being seven of cups that also could be saying that somebody somebody of authority could be steering you into wrong paths so be be mindful of that they could be steering you or distracting you into doing other things or focusing on other things and it's because of what they want for you it's because of what they see for you not of what you see or what you want for yourself so be mindful of that you can listen to people you can take heed to what people say but don't allow others opinions to drive you off your course i feel like what's some advice for my virgos So we got the Queen of Swords as well as the Queen of Pentacles. So first of all, there's a lot of feminine energy coming through. Back of the deck, we have the King of Cups. There's a lot of feminine energy coming through. Um, so like I said, you could be very open and receptive to things at this time. You could also be giving yourself a lot of rest, which is completely fine. Um... I feel like with this Queen of Swords coming out in reverse right before this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is saying, um, again, what this whole message is saying, stay focused. Don't like cut off, cut off, cut off any outside ideas that people could be putting onto you. Not saying that you can't take ideas from other people, but you know what it is that you want to do. You know the life that you want to live and you know the type of person that you are. So 
cut out you know the excess commotion and the the excess talk of what people have to say about you and what people want you to do um stay focused on your goal of how you want to make money the way that you want to make money might not be the same way that somebody else wants to make money the amount of money you 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 need to sustain yourself might not be the same amount of money that other people need to sustain themselves so um don't be afraid to cut out what other people are saying to follow what to follow suit to who you are and in the way that you move you know yeah, and that is what's going to keep you emotionally fulfilled, which is going to keep you um, ultimately going. Okay, so that's my reading for you, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you, um, I was about to say like, comment, subscribe. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, because I am going to be posting this to my YouTube. I post all of my Zodiac readings to my YouTube. My page is Vibes with Ren. If you want to go and subscribe there, I do also do other vlogs and story times, um, fun videos, things like that. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can always go to my Fiverr account. The link is in my uh, bio or you can DM me on here for a reading, okay? As well as it is Christmas season, um, so make sure that if you know anybody, <sighs> make sure you give, give the gift of love. If you know anybody who might be interested in readings or, you know, um, having a hard time with their life right now or you know you think they might want to hear a reading whatever make sure that you go ahead and um, screenshot my QR code here on my page because you never know you could be helping somebody else out as well as helping me out as well so make sure y'all screenshot my QR code send it to your fan friends family and that can be you know your little Christmas present to them so I hope that y'all enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow